today needs to be unpacked before we talk about the history, a very short history of television at least. At first, it was about the Microsoft release of Windows Dev Kit based on Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3, an ARM processor, but we don't need to talk about that here, there's been plenty of videos about that. We're going to talk about something that's been happening on the midnight of 2nd of November 2022. After grueling delays and disappointments, Indonesia finally takes its move and shuts down their analog television transmitters. But what is the effect, and what is changing, and what is not changing from the television? But let's begin with what is analog switch off in a nutshell. Analog switch off or ASO is more of a ceremony than a technical thing. Technically, it means that they are putting more power into the digital television transmitter and lowering the analog ones before turning it off. But analog switch off ceremony is more of a symbolic move to show that they are going to the future and beyond. Usually, they would play a tribute for the analog transmitters you know, as a nod and thanks for its surprise. But in Indonesia and many other places, including Japan, well, it's just good riddance, goodbye forever, and shuts off the transmitter. And they actually did. It's not just a ceremony. With that, what's its effect to the 96 million viewers across the archipelago? Well, basically, those who watch it through the satellite and cable was not affected. Those who still watch TV through terrestrial analog, the one that switched off, is not going to see anything. TVs that are older than 2020 usually doesn't have DVB-T2 tuner. Some might actually just have a dvb -T T or T1 tuner, because that's what Indonesia planned to use when they are going to transition in 2016. It didn't get through. So to solve that, you need a set-top box, or some might say a cable box, that is going to translate and convert a digital TV signal into an analog one, or just another digital one that your TV can accept, like HDMI. But what does not change? Well, soap operas, also soap operas but Indian, newscasts that sometimes got internal level typo and also whatever Indonesian TVs are making. So yeah, if you can't see anything in your TV, there is nothing wrong with your TV. It's just that there is none to show because there is no signal. So get yourself a set top box and enjoy. Also no, Indonesian government did not pay me for this. I'm just elated that they are actually fulfilled this promise. Four years late, but hey, better late than ever, right? <laughs> 